What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here. You guys already know, already know. If you wanna hop in this ride, hit that like, hit that subscribe, or favor. All right, come on, hop on in. Let's buckle in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Oh man. So let's do a little story time. Story time. Let me get on this highway right quick. So this past weekend in Lake uh, Lakewood, Orlando, Florida. There's a little, um, little restaurant called Papa Bee's. It's a little chicken wing spot, right? Papa Bee's. It's around nine o'clock and some women comes in to, um, to go to the restaurant. They go to the bathroom and they stuff the toilet with toilet paper, making it the overflow, right? The employee sees it goes in and cleans it up all right minutes later the same group goes back in the toilet to the restroom and stuff it again with more toilet paper now the supervisor is fed up with us and asks the young ladies to leave the establishment okay one of the ladies didn't like what she was hearing and punched the supervisor bow Right in the kisser. All right? Next thing you know, all four of the women start jumping in and whooping the supervisor's ass. <laughs> Excuse my language. All right? The, um, one of the employees comes out to help her because the supervisor's bleeding. She got a gash in her head. One of the employees come out and she gets slapped. Bow. And they pulling her hair, kicking her and screaming her, calling all types of names. And they run off, right? Now, I want you to picture this, right? And I want you to ask yourself, these all are voting age women. Or should I call them women? Females. They're all voting age, okay? And I want you to guess if they voted for Trump or if they voted for Biden. Okay, I'm gonna give out the names. All right, we have Kanisha Charles. We have Taisha Charles. Tiandra Charles. All right, they're all sisters. And the other two is um, Jasmine Klein, I believe, and Jalea Smith. Now, ask yourself. Did they vote for Trump or did they voted for Biden? Mm. Unbelievable story. Unbelievable story. And you want to ask yourself what prov provoked these women to just go all out and just assault the supervisor, you know? But you know, of course, the old trope comes out. She's a racist. She's this. She's a cracker. It's all this. Why? Why did you go in and start stuffing toilet paper in the the commode? What you what y'all thinking of? Right? Now, white people see this all the time. White people see this all the time. And you know what? We, because of political correctness, they can't say nothing. Right? They gotta bottle that shit in. They have to follow that in. And y'all under wonder why that they always give you the stank face when they see y'all. And, and you probably didn't even do nothing. But you comes in into our chicken wing spot and they start judging you because the last group of straggle daggles that came in. Do this all the time. So if white people cannot express themselves and they got to internalize they got to bottle that shit in internalize it what do you think that does for the future 
for your kids or for your neighborhood? Or you think that's gonna turn out good for y'all? It is so bad that, you know, we let things out. We could call these people out. We you know we could say, man, these are some Negroes. We could say that. Or, you know, with the hard A's or with the hard R, we could say that. You know what I'm saying? We call them out. But other people, other races cannot call these group of women out. The hyenas. The hyenas of our society. You cannot call these people out. What is going on? They get a pass. These young ladies are from 18 to 26. All voting age. This is our future, guys. And we cannot call these women out. We cannot say nothing. We just got to let it go. And these white people are starting to get tired of it. I know they've been tired of it for years, but they keep internalizing it. They shut up, keep internalizing it. And then next thing you know, a cop put somebody in a chokehold because they tired of the same old damn thing with y'all, man. I'm talking about you can't breathe. Y'all been doing this so long and now people are starting to react and get tired of your, your nonsense. Ladies, I use that word loosely. Young girls, young females, what do you call yourself? But man, you think this is going to turn out well for us? And like, you know, myself, I already told y'all, I'm not trying to save the community. I done left the community. I done left the plantation since 1991, since I graduated high school and got on that plane to join the military. I was not coming back to that place no more. You know what I'm saying? They call me sellout. They call me Uncle Tom. They call me all sorts of things. I'll be that, but I'm not going to be one of you people. You know what I'm saying? You guys are freaking embarrassing. Just because we got the same skin tone doesn't mean we family, guys. You know what I'm saying? I am that Uncle Tom. Yes, I, I am that Uncle Tom. I will not be a part of you people. You guys are disgusting, man. Y'all just going out, causing havoc. And then you want us to come save y'all, come protect y'all. Who protect you for what? You know what I'm saying? It's always a, the evil white guy and the evil... Protect y'all for what? You can't even act right. You can't even act right. You women are out of control. And you want us to come save you, come protect you, and, and, and procreate with you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Speaking of, we have a story with our, our rapper, Lil Boosie. Little boosty, little boosty, man. You are the epitome of straight dumbass. You have a lot of baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? But this last one you have, she is taking you, <laughs> she's straight embarrassing you. <clears throat> I know you try to do the right thing with your daughter. If y'all didn't know, little boosty, I gave his daughter a, um, a car on his 16th birthday, like he gave all his kids a car. And um, she started acting up on the social media and uh, calling his dad out, all type of names, right? So he goes back and take the car away from her, right? Now she's incensed. She's on fire. And she's not doing it. I think it's all because the mom is gassing her up. The mom is a, is a straight up biatch. Man, she's out of control too. And you can hear her in the background gassing her daughter up. Almost got Boosie locked up. I'm not a fan of Boosie. I gotta, you know, listen to a couple of songs and whatever. But my man, my dude, you would have had like a few baby mamas already. And this one, this last one you have, she's really showing her ass. And dude, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. You think a big booty and a smile, you skidding her, you got her pregnant. Dude, it's all your fault, man. So you can't come out here and get on social media and um, trying to act with sympathy and trying to show, um, you know what I'm saying, trying to uh, embarrass your daughter. Because, dude, you should have never had procreated with that woman. I mean, there was, you probably had two or three other baby mamas you should never procreate either. Man, you guys got to keep your, keep your pecker 
in your pants, man. This is straight up buffoonery. We are surrounded by straight buffoonery. Sorry, little Boosie, man. That you know what I'm saying. Shout out to you, Boosie. I understand, but I don't understand. You know what I'm saying. I don't say how you skied up in her. How you got all these baby mamas? And they all got the same type of energy. You know what I'm saying? They all gutter racks, and you you pick from the bottom of the barrel, sir. And their daughter, Boosie had moved his daughter up in Alpharetta and had her in, in private school. She was a straight A student and all that good stuff. And um, he lost not custody, but she went back to to live with mom and mom corrupted her mind just straight up corrupted her mind and she's acting like a straight gutter rat like her mama you know what i'm saying she's just like a mama but now you see all this happening and you trying to um correct it all man fuck her man let her go let her and her mama go write them off you know i know it's all about child support they try to get it some money some money after you but man you, but you're doing this on, on, on IG and trying to shame her too? Dude, it's a lost cause, man. Write her off. Block her on IG. Don't even talk to them no more. The way they're coming after you and, and talking shit about you, man. Man, let her go. Let her go. I would not tolerate none of that for my kids. No, we ain't doing that either. I don't care how old you are, how cute you think you are. You come out to me sideways and get on a social trying to embarrass me. Your boy, man, you crazy hell. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Hit that like and subscribe for favor. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. Let's keep it moving.